Hello, in this video I shall be discussing 5 topics. The first topic is Transporter 1. Transporter 1 is the name of uh, the mission of SpaceX that sent 143 satellites in 2021. So SpaceX mission Transporter 1 sent 143 satellites out of which 133 satellites are commercial and government owned satellites and 10 satellites or Starlink satellites that belong to SpaceX. So this is how uh, SpaceX sent these many satellites through one mission called Transporter 1. And the rocket used to launch these 143 satellites is two-stage Falcon 9 rocket. So this is a famous rocket of SpaceX which works in two stages and uh, it, has, it, it itself has got a lot of description about it. So this is what is uh, Transporter 1 working with. So this is launched from Florida uh, from a station from the Space Force station of Cape Canaveral. So this is the station and this is Florida is the place from which it is sent and the station is located there. So by sending these 143 satellites in just one mission of Transporter 1, it broke ISRO's record, earlier record. So Indian Space Research Organization has sent 104 satellites all at once in February 2017. So by sending these 104 satellites uh, in this year on February, India became the first country to send these many satellites in just one mission. So ISRO became the first uh, institute space research organization to send 104 satellites, these many number of satellites with one just mission. So this is broken down now by SpaceX mission by Transporter 1 mission. So these 104 satellites were sent by ISRO through Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle. So this is something about Transporter 1. So by this Transporter 1 stands as the mission that has sent the highest number of satellites so far in the world. The next topic is Amfex 21. Amfex is a joint tri-service exercise. So tri-service involves all, all the areas of armed forces. They are Army, Navy and Air Force. So this joint tri-service exercise is conducted from Andaman and Nicobar Islands in two seas, Bay of Bengal and Andaman Sea. So coming to the features of Amfex, it is a multi-domain exercise in the sense so many domains are involved in this Amfex 1 exercise that warfare domain or research domain, defense domain and so many domains are involved. And the next feature is it is a high intensity exercise. It is not a basic level exercise or a basic level exhibition of our armed forces, but this is a very big high intensity warfare uh, exercise. So this also caters to offensive upliftment of our offensive targets and also our defensive uh, targets. So offensive and defensive tactics of uh, Indian armed forces are also given skill through this uh, joint tri-service exercise of Amfex 21. We also know about the exercise coverage that also happens from Andaman Nicobar Islands. This exercise coverage is also a part of Amfex 21. So this is about Amfex 21. The next topic is Punk Abhiyan. Punk Abhiyan is a scheme for girl child. So for development of girl children, Punk Abhiyan scheme is launched in the state of Madhya Pradesh. It is launched on January 24, 2021 and that day is selected because it is the day of National Girl Child Day. So January 24th, every year in India we celebrate it as National Girl Child Day. So on that day, the state of Madhya Pradesh has launched this scheme of Punk Abhiyan for the upliftment of girl, child, girl children of that state. This is a part of our national scheme or national program called Beti Bachao Beti Padao. So we know that Beti Bachao Beti Padao is uh, started by our Prime Minister in, uh, nationwide for the empowerment and development of girl children throughout the nation. So as a sub scheme under Beti Bajao Beti Padao, Punk Abhiyani started in Madhya Pradesh. This is a very beautiful scheme that can stand as a model scheme for all other states to follow as well. So this Punk name is given uh, as an abbreviation to these things listed here. So P for protection, A for awareness, N stands for nutrition, K stands for knowledge and H stands for health. So protecting girl children and bringing awareness to that end that they must be looked after well and giving good nutrition to girl children according to their uh, needs, according to the needs of a girl child and giving them knowledge that is empowerment in their education field and also looking after the special needs of a girl child in terms of health. 
so this punk punk abhyan is uh, aiming towards these things so the name is given as punk for the abbreviation of these protection awareness nutrition knowledge and health aspects so this is a very beautiful scheme started in madhya pradesh the next topic is international day of education every year we celebrate international day of education on january 24 The first International Day of Education is celebrated in 2019. So the United Nations took up a resolution to this end that uh, this International Day of Education should be celebrated on January 24th every year. This resolution is taken on December 3rd, 2018 and after that from 2019 January 24th we are celebrating uh, this day every year. So this is to emphasize emphasize uh, the role of education in terms of global peace and sustainable development so these two things are uh, given by the un that uh, the 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 work of education should be towards bringing global peace in the world and sustainable development in the world so 2021 every year it would have a theme and the theme of 2021 as we were having covid 19 by then the theme was recover and revitalize education for the covid 19 generation so covid 19 generation uh, was very much hit because of uh, the uh, lockdowns and covid-19 pandemic so we need to recover and revitalize that situation in terms of education for covid-19 generation so this is the theme of 2021 international day of education the last topic for today is global climate risk index 2021 so as the name says climate risk index is uh, the list of the ranking of the countries that are prone to climate risk or that have already been in the prime, in the climate risk so we shall see about this this global climate risk index is given by an environmental think tank so a think tank to the end of an uh, to the end of environment uh, and all it has given out this index the name of that environmental think tank is german watch so this is the name of that organization and it is a bonn based environmental think tank bonn is a place in germany so bonn based german watch has given out this climate risk index uh, will also will also give every year it will also give uh, for 2020 to 23 and all but 2021 result is now open or it is now uh, into vogue actually this uh, works in this way it will take survey in one year and it and will re- release the research out of the survey in around two years like that for example the present index for 2021 it is based on the survey of 2019 so this is how this uh, think tank works so india uh, got a rank of 7 so it is the seventh worst hit in 2019 so based on this survey the index of 2021 is released so seventh worst hit by the climate uh, action or the b- climate change and the extreme weather events in the world is india so th- it is the seventh hit country so this is what uh, has come up in the survey and the objective of this particular index is to see uh, the impact of climate change on different countries that is climate change affected countries will be listed here they will be given ranks here and the climate related extreme weather events and their impact on these countries will be analyzed so based on this analysis this object of the index is drawn by this the ranks are given and the top 3 countries uh, that got surveyed in 2019 or the climate risk index of 2021 uh, contains mozambique zimbabwe and bahamas so these are the 1 2 3 countries top worst hit countries by climate change so mozambique zimbabwe and bahamas are the three countries and india got seventh rank so the, india is one of the worst hit countries in the world and so it is also we can say it is um, in also 1 to 10 ranks it is a bad thing that uh, india is below 10 ranks in global climate risk index 2021 so these are all the five topics for today and thank you